Welcome back to the third and final installment of the Brown Bears of Brooks Falls video series. In this episode, we'll meet two of the major players in the established bear hierarchy, Otis and 747, who are two of the oldest bears and biggest bears in the area, and who both have won the coveted Fat Bear Week Championship title multiple times. This video is brought to you by The Adventures of King Kodiak, a fun and educational children's book series about the biggest bears in the world and the place they call home. Order your copies today at Amazon.com or by visiting the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3MinutesOutdoors.com. Meet Otis otherwise known as bear number 480 for identification purposes. He's one of the oldest bears who hangs around Brooks Falls each year to fish for salmon and get fattened up for winter hibernation. According to officials at Katmai National Park and Preserve, he was first identified in 2001 as an older subadult bear. That would make him around 25 years as of this recording, which is quite old for a brown bear in the wild and pretty close to their maximum lifespan. As with all the bears who are monitored and studied over long periods of time, distinguishing marks are used to identify them from other bears. Otis has tan-tipped claws, distinct scars on both sides of his neck, as well as a prominent scar above his right eye. The cartilage in one of his ears is damaged, resulting in the ear just flopping over. He has a thick, wrinkled neck, and he's also missing his canine teeth, which thankfully doesn't keep him from consuming the massive amount of food he needs for survival. Despite these unique characteristics though, it can still be challenging at times to identify certain bears. Otis is also a bear with a rather efficient fishing technique. While younger, smaller, more agile bears can burn many precious calories from wandering up and down the river all day and chasing fish all over the place, when Otis shows up on the scene, he slowly moves along to his favorite spot at Brooks Falls, known as the Jacuzzi. This is an area where many fish gather in an attempt to swim up the falls, thus making them easier to catch for bears who are big enough and dominant enough to secure such a coveted spot. While Otis isn't nearly as aggressive as some of the other big male bears in the area, he rarely gets displaced from his preferred fishing spot. However, in more recent years, he has succumbed to the pressure of a few of the bigger, stronger bears, such as Bear 747, who muscles him out of the jacuzzi area and even steals his fish. Over the years, Otis has won the prestigious Fat Bear Week Contest Championship title a total of four times, but he's definitely had some fierce competition, including the mighty 747. Like Otis, 747 has become very good at catching fish in the jacuzzi area of the falls, and he also seems to be fairly tolerant of other, less dominant bears, even this sow and her cubs which as you learned in the last video in this series, was most certainly not your average sow and cubs. Park officials first identified 747 as a subadult bear in 2004, which, like Otis, makes him an old bear. 747 is another of the biggest, fattest bears on the Brooks River and has won the coveted Fat Bear Week title two times as of this recording. A survey team from the park scanned him a couple years ago and estimated 747's weight to be well over 1,400 pounds. He gets so incredibly fat that by the end of the salmon run, he's eaten so many fish that his belly sometimes even touches the ground. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this little series about the brown bears of Brooks Falls. And if you'd like to learn more about Brooks Camp and Katmai National Park and Preserve, I'll leave a link in the video description below. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.